Hello lovely people. Uh, my voice is extra croaky because I just filmed a video. That will be up after this. Um, after this one, so keep an eye out for that. Um, a little update in my life. Uh, you may notice the suitcases are like packed and like standing. Um, I'm leaving Seoul. Uh, that's the video I just filmed where I talk about why I'm leaving Seoul. And you're like, you've already just got there. You've been there less than two weeks. Yes, I know. Um, but I'm already leaving. It's a long story. I explain it in that video. Um, so please go watch that once that's up. Um, so yes, I am leaving Seoul. Today is my last day. Let me just move this stool back. Um, I fly out tomorrow. Obviously, I'm not going to film any of that because I'm literally just going home. Um, nothing too exciting. I've got my dad meeting me at the airport. Um, and we're getting a taxi because my sister drives the bigger car and she needs it. So, um, But he's coming to the airport to meet me, which is very, very nice because I cannot be bothered to deal with all... F f well, you can only see three out of five suitcases here. Um, but yeah, we're going on one last adventure today. I need to go find luggage scales because my suitcases were at max capacity when I came out here. Um, so I need to go find that. I also really want to go to a massive mall. So we're going to go to a lot of world mall. Um, I kind of want to go to the Coex mall, but I feel like I'm just going to save all the stuff I wanted to do for when I come back as a tourist um, rather than traipsing around. Also, the Lotto World Mall is only a couple of stops away on the me on, on the metro. It? No, it's the subway, isn't it? A couple of stops away on the subway. Um, so I don't need to transfer. And then it's like a seven minute walk, I think. Um, so it's not too far. It is freezing cold today. It is m minus six. Is it still minus six? because it's just brutal. Oh, it's minus five now, we've gotten warmer. Um, it's like a maximum temperature of, oh, zero degrees. Um, yeah, that's not fun. Um, so there you go, minus five. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go out, we're gonna go to, so turns out I was gonna go all the way to Yonsan. So bear in mind, we're in Gangdong-gu, I was gonna go all the way to Yonsan-gu to go to an e-mart there. I have one like round the corner from me. So I'm gonna go there, see if they've got luggage scales. I have read online that you literally can't buy luggage scales unless you buy them online. Obviously I leave tomorrow. That's logistically not possible. I don't have an Amazon Prime account here, so that's not happening. Um, and then I also have a Dunkin' Donuts five minutes away from me. Now, I did get Dunkin' Donuts in Gangnam. I didn't think much of it, I will be honest. I did have a donut from Paris Baguette yesterday, a strawberry and cream donut. If you're in Seoul at the moment, get that because it was bleeding delicious. I couldn't eat it all though because it was quite rich. But get that, I would recommend that over Dunkin', but I might get Dunkin' later. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to Lotto World Mall after the E-Mart, um, where we're going to go to Sephora. If you've watched any of my other vlogs, I have mentioned um, Sephora. Any vlogs I've already uploaded, I'll leave links down below for you. Um, but I'm well excited to go to Sephora. I don't really have room to pack stuff. Um, as for like presents, probably for my family. Um, obviously, I've already bought my sister stuff. Um, but like probably my parents, I'll just buy at the airport. Although it seems like Incheon doesn't actually have that much. But I feel like they would have like snacks, like Korean snacks and like alcohol. And I feel like they'll they'll just like that. Um, Although I did notice like the duty free they did on the plane. So yeah, I'm not really sure. But if I can find them a little something in the mall, then I will do that. Um, today is not like quick, get rid of all my one uh, because I can convert it back when I'm back at home. Um, I've already done my passenger locator form. You have to do that for the UK within 48 hours. I'm fully vaccinated. So um, I don't need to do a PCR test and I don't need to quarantine. I just need to do the locator form so they can track me down. I must admit my flight does look busy compared to my flight out here which was pretty much empty like I had three seats to myself it looks like my flight home is quite busy I don't know if someone's sitting next to me or if they've blocked out all the middle seats like I'm really really confused but I think they've blocked out the middle seats purely because um, this I'm in front of someone who'd already put their seat and I was like, why would someone put the middle seat next to someone who's already sitting there? So I don't know. I'm really hoping that that's what they've done. So if someone is sitting on the other side of me, um, then that's fine. My flight's also 12 and a half hours. Like, come on. It was 11 hours coming out here, so it's an extra hour and a half, which is just brutal. But on the plus side, I now know to watch the kids section, because the kids sections have some of my favourite films. They have The Animated Grinch. They have Secret Life of Pets. They also have Molang, who you know I'm absolutely obsessed with, and they do have an international store, and you better believe when I go home, I'm going to be ordering stuff off that. Um, oh, what else did they have on there? Basically, like, films that I usually watch on Netflix when I have one in the background, they have on there. So 
I'm going to be watching all of that. I may watch James Bond, No Time to Die, but I also have that at home, so... And also don't really care about James Bond, don't come at me. Um, so yeah, I've been talking for five minutes, but that's what's happening today. It is currently quarter to 11 in the morning. I may make a move now. I was going to make a move around 11, but I might make a move now. Um, just kind of get the day started, otherwise... No, when it's minus five outside, I'm literally not going to want to do anything. So we're going to go to the email, see if we can find luggage scales, and then we're going to get on the um, eight line to Jam Sale. I'm probably butchering that. I'm going to go to Lotto World Mall, huge mall. Um, I'm hoping like Dubai size mall because I loved the Dubai Mall and the Mall of the, mall of the Emirates. Um, so it'd be nice to go to like a big mall. The I Park Mall in Yonsan was like big but it was like kind of higgledy piggledy uh, don't get me wrong I still love it I recommend it for anyone who's um, coming to Seoul do go there also if you're a big fan of BTS um, Big Hit is literally 10 minutes away from that which I didn't realise when I was there um, so if you go to the High B Insight go there and then you can go over to the mall and do some shopping um, so yeah and then we're going to come back here and we're going to clean because obviously I'm leaving tomorrow so we're going to wash towels that I've used so I've used kind of like the hand towels they select because this is an Airbnb so I've used one for like the, because they didn't, they didn't bring tea towels. I didn't want to use one of mine because I didn't know how long I was going to be here for. So I used one of theirs for like the washing up. And then I used um, used one for hand towel and I used one to dry my hair. Uh, so I'm going to wash those and then just leave them to um, dry. And then in the morning, um, I'm going to take all my recycling down first thing in the morning. And then my fellow teacher is going to come and help me take my suitcases down. Um, my transfer is booked for 830 um, which is four and a half hours before my flight, but it because it took four hours, like to get here, um, last time. Like I know it was a Saturday afternoon, but still, um, I reckon it's going to take probably about two hours maximum to get over to the airport. I also really want to get a Seoul magnet, but I haven't found a tourist shop. I found like a tourist cart, but not a shop. So I'm hoping at the airport because I know when I came back from Dubai. I think first time round, I bought all my souvenirs from the airport, so I'm hoping Incheon has that. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening today. I was, oh my god, I've been talking for nearly nine minutes. What am I doing? I'm just recapping. So yeah, we're gonna go e-mart, and then we're going to the mall. Also, can you tell that my mood is so much better knowing that I'm going home? Again, I explained everything in that video. So, let's go to the mall. Let's go to the mall. I don't know where the microphone is, so I don't even know if you can hear me. But we are finally on our way to the mall. Um, so the director has been and gone. I had to pay a very hefty bill. So basically, uh, because I'm leaving, I offered to pay for expenses. Um, obviously, me thinking, oh, I'll only pay for basically what I haven't used or what I haven't fulfilled. So like, oh, I got the burps. I'm so sorry. So this is obviously the Airbnb is booked until Monday. Uh, so I thought, well, I would just pay for, like, the uh, excess amount of days. Uh, no. I paid up until tomorrow. Uh, and also my fee. Yeah, but anyway, I paid a hefty bill. Uh, thankfully, I had the cash. Because uh, I just brought, uh, like, a crap ton of cash with me um, in one. So I have paid that. <laughs> I really was hoping to go home with quite a bit of money that I could put back in my savings. Um, between the money I've had to pay for the plane and the excess baggage and the transfer and then hopefully not overweight baggage and then plus with that hefty bill because I really I haven't bought that much here but for some reason my money's gone and like honestly like I haven't spent that much so I actually don't know where it's gone um I have had to change part of my outfit you didn't see my outfit earlier but I've had to put leggings on because uh basically last Friday I got major chub rub shout out to those who get chub rub and I can't I don't have talcum powder to put on it I can't find the special cream I got to put on it um so there's nothing I can do but 
endure it so leggings are the only thing I can endure I was wearing jogging bottoms but they're a bit bubbly so yeah we are now I'm gonna stop ranting we are now off to the mall um and yeah that's what we're gonna do I am wearing a coat because it is like minus out there that's why I really didn't want to change out leggings but like there's I mean change out my jogging bottoms if I'd have to there's no way I could endure it um, but yeah, and he yeah he gave the department the okay, and he seemed really nice. He said he respected my decision, which is you know it's it's nice. But you're also like, do you really mean that, or do you, is it just you don't want to be on the blacklist? You don't know. Also, I don't trust anyone. So there's that. Okay, so we are off to Momo. Thankfully, it's only a couple of stops. I think it's gonna take me about twenty minutes to get there. When we get there, we're heading straight for Sephora because that's the only reason I'm going. Um, and then find luggage scales and then come back and we do my least favourite thing in the world actually second least favourite thing F most least favourite thing in the world is cooking second is cleaning but we're going to do it anyway okay off we go to the mall part two Balenciaga, Celine, and Moncler, and that. There's that side. Oh, it's meant to be too shaky. A lot of these places, I will say, still have their Christmas decorations. I don't know why. Look. Look at that. I'm literally trying to find that bookstore. It keeps telling me to go up. <laughs> but oh my god, this mall is huge. It's like in two parts, and it's on like a million, million floors. Ikea. I mean not like a proper Ikea but still it's Ikea. Hello everyone please ignore that this is like traveling outfit and stuff like that um anyway hello last time I saw you were at the Hyundai building department store still no luggage a scale so I'm just gonna have to uh risk it um and hope that I don't have like a serious um charge when I check in um, but yes, so we went to Lottie World Mall. I'm going to say Lottie. I don't know if that's how you actually pronounce it, but we went to Lottie World Mall. Um, I picked up quite a few things, um, including um, a snack. I'll show you the snack, actually. It's this 
like cinnamon sugar like donut thing um yeah well excited to try that um and i had subway um for my food today there was there's a subway literally around the corner from me um so i went the, well actually not the one around the corner from me i went for the one across the road from me so yes we were at the lottie world mall um it was amazing i wanted to go to the aquarium as well but you have to pre-book tickets and i was like oh, i wonder if i could do that while i'm here all in korean so moral of the story is I need to be able to read Korean um, but I definitely want to come back because I think it's like the, the mall was huge um, I went up and down all like six seven floors and I was like walking round and round um, and there's still so much I feel like I haven't seen or haven't looked up properly so I definitely want to come back so I thought we'd do a haul I did a haul at the end of my um, which the iPark mall vlog so I thought we'd do a haul this time round so I have Pom pom purring, full of stuff. So I'm just gonna pull stuff out and show you. Um, so where do we start? Let's start with Studio Ghibli store. So yes, there was a Studio Ghibli store which I freaked out about because I love Ghibli. My sister loves Ghibli even more. Um, so I was really excited. So I picked up a, her up a bunch of presents. So I got her some Gigi chopsticks. I got her some Totoro chopsticks. I'm hoping that's focused and then I got her some cat returns um playing cards because I thought this is a bit weird like and random you're not really going to see that um oh no it's not cat returns it's whisper of the heart isn't it oh my god that makes it even better that it's whisper of the heart sorry I just saw the baron and I was like oh that's that's but now I'm looking at it I'm like that's definitely not oh it's whisper of the heart oh that's even more amazing you're welcome Charlie um see so yeah, I got that they also had like um what was the other chopsticks they had they had um like long Totoro ones but she already has long Totoro ones and then they had someone else who I can't think of and in the playing cards they had like Hal um I don't remember the others oh Princess Mononoke they had as well so yeah that was the Shia Gibby store then let's go next to Sephora um so oh also yeah they gave me this Oh, I should have guessed. They so give me a Whisper of the Heart um, sticker, which obviously I will uh, give to her with the Baron on it. Um, yeah, I went to Sephora. Sephora was the reason I went to the mall, as you guys know. So I actually did two trips to Sephora. Um, so the first trip I got this lip blush. So this is Sephora own soft matte lip colour. So I got this in like a pink. What shade is this? Does it say what shade? Oh yeah, number six cotton candy. So I got that. And then I got one of their matte lipsticks in matte 02 keep going. And it looks like that. I like wearing like nudie brown shades. So that's perfect. Uh, this was for two for one. And she was she did say, oh, you know, it's two for one. I'm like, oh, yeah, but I don't like any of the other colors. Um, but I said, thank you, but I don't like any of, the, uh, any of the other colors. And then they gave me a free sample and I haven't even looked at this. So this I believe is perfume, this NCP. So let's see if we can open it and what did we get? Oh god, it's like a Krypton. Krypton fact. Oh no, no, we did it. Oh, okay. So it kind of opens up like, oh, we're well, not focused. Can we get back into focus? There we go. Um, this is, oh, iris and vanilla. Eau de parfum. I love vanilla. Oh, stop. Am I gonna have to track this down in the UK now? Stop! Oh my god, am I gonna have to get back on the subway now to go get this? See, I usually like quite masculine scents, like uh, like you know, like the bergamots and the ouds. But oh my god, I love that. It's like she knew. It's like she knew. Um, yeah. Oh my god, amazing. Okay, I'm now going to need to track that down in the UK and find out how much it is and if it breaks the bank. Uh, but yeah, it's NCP Stockholm, Sweden. So that's cool. Um, yeah, so I got that and then I basically, I tested a bunch of lipsticks. You can still see the remnants of them here. Um, and it basically was like, it stained my hand. So I thought, well, I'm definitely going back to get one of them. And it's by the brand Amuse and it's like a dew velvet. Or dew velvet. Um, yeah. And I got this in the shade 03. So it's like a a bright pink so that's what i got from sephora and then i think the last bits i got yeah were from arkham book oh my god arkham books i want to live in there 
So she's the one in Lottie Mall. It's on the... Oh, what floor is it? Fifth floor, I think? It's incredible. I, honestly, I, like... Oh, if you if, if anyone ever has, has the opportunity to go on a first date with Nam June, um, like Kim Nam June from BTS, that's where you've got to go because they have like a little patisserie, they have like you know like coffee shop, they and they sell like anything from like trinkets um, to kids books to uh, like adult books uh, to alcohol, the the magazines they sell everything and it's just like these beautiful arches. Obviously, you would have seen it earlier in the video, and I'm like in love, heaven sent. Um, so I, I picked up actually. Um, a few things I spent I spent a pretty penny in there so the first thing I got was a glass cup so usually I get a mug everywhere I go uh, because I'm obsessed with mugs but I can't find any tourist shops here any I heart soul or anything like that so I thought well I'll get this instead so it's a glass cup and it has which I think is so cute it has like little vintage lambs all over it how cute is that and there's like toadstool and like flowers and it's just like a little cup like that. I am obsessed. I love it. It's glass. And I mean, I don't know if I'll ever use it because I just think it's fabulous and I'd be too scared to use it. Um, so I got that. And also for myself, um, this is such an unnecessary purchase, but like, you know when you're on your holiday, well, I'm treating it like a holiday now, <coughs> and you just can't resist buying that really random thing. So this is actually... Um, it says physical education department. Um, I don't even know what this is, but like it just says, it's a t-shirt that says physical on it. And then it has like a bear. Um, so this was like in the same area as they had Yale University stuff. So I don't know if this is like in like collab with that. I don't know. It. I mean, it's pricey for what it is, um, but I couldn't resist. I just thought it was just so cool. And it says uh, basketball club phys ed department um yeah i just i love a t-shirt so i thought why not why not so um and then the last two bits i got my mum this pair of earrings they had like artisan sort of style jewelry like right by the counter and i just saw this and i thought i feel like she would wear them she doesn't really wear gold but i, f I feel like it's really subtle that i don't think she would mind oh we're not focused can we focus please there we go. Um, they're so small, so I feel like she wouldn't mind wearing them at all. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder because it keeps like going out of focus. Um, and then I got my sister another present. I got her this Cook Korean comic book with recipes um, because she loves like art style books and illustrated books, but also she loves cooking um, and she loves Korean food like I do. Oh my god. I'm dying, this perfume smells amazing. I'm literally gonna get on my phone after I film this and try and find it in the UK. Cause I mean, I could go back to the mall. Oh no, no, I think the mall closes soon. So I can't go back to the mall. It's 25 to six in the evening. Also, I do have to <coughs> pack my suitcases and hoover. And I wanna hoover before it gets too late and I get shouted out by the neighbors. Um, so yeah, I got this cookbook for her. And then that's what I got from the big mall. And then I went to the Hyundai department store and I was looking and trying to find luggage scales, obviously. They don't even sell luggage. Like, what department store doesn't even sell luggage? You have an Ikea, but you don't sell luggage and you're right by a station. Bizarre to me. Anyway, so I went to, I want to say Spau, is that how you say it? It's like a big brand here in Korea and I just fell in love with this little baseball cap with the, um, the bear on it. So, so cute. And it says, um, our athlete on you literally. Oh, okay, can you, you can kind of see that. Um, but yeah, I love green. Oh my God, it goes with, oh, it goes with my outfit. Stop. Totally didn't plan that. Obsessed, right? That's how I'm wearing it now. And then I got <coughs> this sweatshirt. Now, I wouldn't normally have bought clothes from here in Korea because I am a curvy gal and clothes will not fit me. I'm currently a smaller weight than I usually am because I've had a lot of um, eating problems and food problems and like stomach problems. Um, but once I'm back, back up to my normal weight, stuff won't fit me. But I have a plan with this. Now, this wasn't the original one I wanted to get. Um, the original one I wanted to get said R.A. Bear. Now, R.A. are my initials. So I was like, I have to. Um, but I just, the way, my plan is to crop this. I know, spend this much money and then crop it. It's not ideal, but... Anyway, that's my plan, and 
with the sweatshirt I couldn't crop it so also I don't own anything in this colour so I got this hoodie instead so I don't know if you can see it yeah so this hoodie and it says cozy bear and it has woody and then it says woody from RA so my idea is to crop this um, to make it fit me like it will fit me on the top it's just the bottom because um, <coughs> my stomach is actually my widest point so it won't fit me. I'm also hoping it will fit me in the arms. I mean, they did have like some cool stuff in the men's, but like they didn't have the RA, which is what I specifically wanted. Um, so yeah, I got that as well. These bits I feel like were quite pricey for what they were. I mean, yeah, this is probably just under 20, probably around 17, 18 pounds. Um, and then this would have been, oh no, that was less than a tenner. So that's you know, piss cheap. Um, but this, I feel like it's not fleeced as well, which was an ideal. Um, this was definitely a slightly pricey for what it was, but like, I just, I just thought it was so cute and I don't know anything like it. And I wanted to buy something from a Korean brand, you know, something that I definitely couldn't get back home. Um, and I just love that. I mean, the physical thing was just, I was caught up in the bookshop, I was caught up in the moment and I just had to. <coughs> so yeah, that's everything I got today. Um, quite the haul. I now have to fit stuff in my suitcase. I already got one overflowing suitcase there. I'm going to sort this one out here. I'm probably going to leave my two over there because they are the problematic ones where I feel like these two are less problematic. Oh my god, this one's heavenly. I never usually like, like I said, quite... It's not even like, um, quite more, more like feminine fragrances to want of a better word. Um, but I really like that. So yes, that's my haul and that's my last day here in Korea. Um, it's been fun. It has felt like a holiday, especially like today. I find that the days where I'm shopping, it feels like a holiday and then every other day. I mean, this this morning started off stressful, um, waiting for the director to come, but that actually kind of went all right. Um, he's like, I respect your decision. Um, so yeah, we're all good with that. Um, and then I had to pay the money that I owed them. It's, it's a long-winded thing. I'm not even going to get into it. It's not even mentioned in my explanation video, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, now I need to pack to go home. Um, Car's picking me up at 8.30 tomorrow morning, so I have, what, how many hours? About 14, 15 hours till I, um, I, I leave to go to the airport. I'm excited to go home purely because as much as I love the subway system, I'm loving all the shopping, I am just ready to just be with my family, even if they don't really agree with my decisions, but it's fine, um, and to be with the pets and to just have familiarity you know, just to go to my local co-op um, or, you know, to go into my, you know, town and go to like Waterstones or something. Um, yeah, I'm just, and also like to not feel lost in translation. Again, the lost in translation thing is purely my fault because like I said, my brain can just not retain um, Korean. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to just be at home and be with my family. I'm not excited for a 12 and a half hour flight, but it's fine because I'm going to watch Mulan and we're going to watch all the kids' films. Um, that is how we're going to pass the time. Uh, my flight looks busy, so we'll, we'll just deal with that when I get on it. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a re really long video, this one, but it is the last one. So thank you so much for joining me on my soul adventure. I'm sorry that it's not going to be like a full year thing like I planned it to be, um, but shit happens. And sometimes things that we thought were right for us aren't right for us. And we just have to trust our guts and make the right decision. Which is what I did. Uh, I will miss eating all this fast food. I know it sounds bad because like I'm, when I'm at home I'm always like, I might, like the takeaways around us don't really do food I can eat. Um, so I will miss having all these like takeaways. Um, and I will definitely go back to being gluten free again. Um, but I'm excited to give everyone their presents. Um, I'm probably going to buy my dad's stuff at the airport. My idea is to take my pom 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 in and just fit it with Korean snacks because I'm sure they'll have somewhere with Korean snacks and just basically fill that up. Um, <coughs> so yeah, again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it um, and I will see you soon. Um, the video after this will be why I left Korea and then after that, let's see if we can get to a Disney park because Lord knows I need a Disney trip. And that's where my heart truly belongs. And I know I'll be a lot happy. And I need to stop saying the word and. Yes, I do. So thank you so much for coming along with me on the soul adventure. Until the next soul adventure when there is no quarantine. And I can come back and I'm bringing my mum. And we're going to the aquarium and the Lottie Mall. Until then. I'll see you soon. Bye.